Leviticus chapter 8, verses 1 through 36. And Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, and the garments, and the anointing oil, and the bull of the sin offering, and the two rams, and the basket of unleavened bread, and assemble all the congregation at the door of the tent of appointment. And Moshe did as Yahweh commanded him, and the congregation was assembled at the door of the tent of appointment. And Moshe said to the congregation, This is the word which Yahweh commanded to be done. So Moshe brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water, and put the long shirt on him, and girded him with the girdle, and dressed him in the robe, and put the shoulder garment on him, and girded him with the embroidered band of the shoulder garment, and with it tied the shoulder garment on him, and put the breastplate on him, and put the urim and the tumim in the breastplate, and put the turban on his head. And on the turban, on its front, he put the golden plate, the sign, the set-apart sign of dedication, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And Moshe took the anointing oil, and anointed the dwelling place and all that was in it, and set them apart. And he sprinkled some of it on the slaughter place seven times, and anointed the slaughter place and all its utensils, and the basin and its base, to set them apart. And he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head, and anointed him to set him apart. And Moshe brought the sons of Aaron, and put long shirts on them, and girded them with girdles, and put turbans on them, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he brought the bull for the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the bull for the sin offering, and it was slain. And Moshe took the blood and put some on the horns of the slaughter place all around with his finger and cleansed the slaughter place. And he poured the blood at the base of the slaughter place and set it apart to make atonement for it. And he took all the fat that was on the entrails and the appendage on the liver and the two kidneys with their fat, and Moshe burned them on the slaughter place. And the bull and its skin and its flesh and its dung he burned with fire outside the camp, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he brought the ram of the ascending offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram, and it was slain. And Moshe sprinkled the blood on the slaughter place all around, and he cut the ram into pieces. And Moshe burned the head and the pieces and the fat, and he washed the entrails and the legs in water. And Moshe burned the entire ram on the slaughter place. It was an ascending offering for a sweet fragrance, and an offering made by fire to Yahweh, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he brought the second ram, the ram of ordination, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on the head of the ram, and it was slain. And Moshe took some of its blood and put it on the tip of Aaron's right ear, and on the thumb of his right hand, and on the big toe of his right foot. And he brought near the sons of Aaron, and Moshe put some of the blood on the tips of their right ears, and on the thumbs of their right hands, and on the big toes of their right feet. And Moshe sprinkled the blood on the slaughter place all around, and took the fat and the fat tail, and all the fat that was on the entrails, and the appendage on the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and the right thigh, and from the basket of unleavened bread that was before Yahweh, He took one unleavened cake and a cake of bread anointed with oil and one thin cake and put them on the fat and on the right thigh and placed all these in the hands of Aaron and in the hands of his sons and waved them as a wave offering before Yahweh. Moshe then took them from their hands and burned them on the slaughter place on the ascending offering. They were ordinations for a sweet fragrance. It was an offering made by fire to Yahweh. And Moshe took the breast and waved it, a wave offering before Yahweh. It was Moshe's portion of the ram of ordination, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And Moshe took some of the anointing oil and some of the blood which was on the slaughter place, and sprinkled it on Aaron, on his garments, and on his sons, and on the garments of his sons with him. And he set apart Aaron, his garments, and his sons, and the garments of his sons with him. And Moshe said to Aaron and his sons, Cook the flesh at the door of the tent of appointment, and eat it there with the bread that is in the basket of the ordinations, as I have commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons are to eat it. 
Then burn the rest of the flesh and the bread with fire, and do not go outside the door of the tent of appointment for seven days until the days of your ordination are completed. For he fills your hands for seven days. Yahweh has commanded to do as he has done this day to make atonement for you. And stay at the door of the tent of appointment day and night for seven days, and you shall guard the duty of Yahweh and not die, for so I have been commanded. And Aaron and his sons did all the words that Yahweh had commanded by the hand of Moshe.